There's a lot of improvement. You can just you, you can see that, Joseph. Okay. I mean, I was very recruited before. Yeah. Uh, I, I have just a couple more questions. With the genioplasty, did you, with the horizontal projection, you actually took the genioplasty back up a few millimeters, is that correct? We took the vertical by 5 mm extra with the bone grafting. Yeah. And the horizontal was reduced by 4 mm. Yeah. That was the plan. That's correct. Yeah, that so was. So we did that. Yes. But probably. In, uh, yeah. I mean, there is improvement, okay? And if you see for a down, down grafting, you can see this height yeah. that's increased so much, you know? This height has increased yeah. significantly. If I could just say something <clears throat> about genioplasty, just uh -huh. in general, it's not directed towards you at oh, all. Oh, okay. Um, I think just in general, in the maxillofacial surgery world, surgeons lean on genioplasty way too much. Like, you basically, I see so many people getting chin implants and genioplasty when they need Vimax and countercock oh, yeah. rotation. Like, basically, I see, I, all, agree. I see all kinds of people. Yep. They're just like in the picture, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying the issue is not the chin. The issue is the jaws. Yeah, I know? agree with and you. It's just, but, you know, the, the benefit is that the genioplasty and jaw sculpting and the procedure that we do in the chin is less extensive. Yeah. Recovery is faster. Bite doesn't need to have be touched. It's, it's true. less skillful recovery. And, and, and that's the reason people go for that. I just think... You know, and many yeah. people, especially, forget patients, even doctors and surgeons don't understand anti-clockwise movement, clockwise movement. These are a little difficult for an average uh, maxillofacial surgeon because they are not only conceptually difficult but also technically difficult. Yeah. Now in your case like we've downgrafted the maxilla in an anti-clockwise manner. Correct. Like that's that's hard. Yeah. And because of that we had to take the iliac crest and you know push it in. So that requires another expertise of able to harvest a graft, yeah. a cancellous graft. So I think all of these then the costing, yeah. you know, people also don't want to spend that much money to just get their facial aesthetics improved. So thinking of the risks involved, the extensiveness of the surgery, the improvement they get with the pain, time, cost, benefit, yeah. people go in for more genioplasties. But for me, you would agree that genioplasty, I needed much more of the genioplasty. Yeah, definitely. Now for you also, remember, you also had issues with your sleep, it was like really retruded. So we've not only done a lot of improvement for your cosmetics, but more importantly, also for your function. Yeah. So your sleep is going to improve dramatically. Also, the posterior airway has opened up, like I showed you on the scans. So, and your bite is still fine. I know there is a small issue with your bite that I told you we're going to tackle it, or probably want to get it done when you go back to the US. Uh, so, but that can happen when we're doing yeah. large by jaw movements and rotations and everything um, but once let's say a few weeks down the line and everything once the AD, you still have you still have swollen yeah. that's not obviously visible anymore uh, so then it's going to be more comfortable uh, in terms of your breathing in terms of your sleeping in terms of your harmony with the jaws and everything so definitely you've done a good decision but the lacking for a lot of patients is A, they don't do so much research, one. And secondly, it's hard for even, I said, a lot of doctors to figure out all this, you know. So how do you expect a patient to exactly know what their problem is and then come with a treatment plan? They very often trust in us, you know, we got to tell them the different options. Like even today, I've done a surgery for a patient. I gave her two options. And then most of them take the option that's not involving the bite because they all want to go back and join for work in a week's time. Yeah. And I say, you do by joy, you know, look, you're not going to work for a month, maybe. So that's a deterring factor. Time today, people don't have time. A lot of youngsters uh, are having good jobs and probably even good money, but don't have time. And you tell them to take a month out like, dog, really? No, I let, let me be the way I am. So this is a reason. Anyways, so, okay. So apart from all this complicated, very challenging, I would think, rotational, counterclockwise, uh, bone graft augmentation, orthognathic surgery for Joseph. 
uh, uh, we've also in the last few days done hair transplantation. So yeah, that's also come out well. We've done about 2,000 odd grafts. My team, they've done a very good job. And this is a graft where we harvested. Yeah, he's still gonna take care for a few more days. And how's your diet now? You're almost back to... Oh, I'm on soft diet. I'm not on like sour diet, sure. obviously. Yeah, it shouldn't be yeah. for a few more weeks. Maybe a couple of more weeks. All right, uh, so Joseph, stay in touch with us. Okay. And uh, you will have Dr. Sara's number for the WhatsApp in case, I mean, let's say you go meet an orthodontist back in the US and then they have a doubt or they want to ask us something or you want to take a scan or the many implants for you, right? Okay. Remember you asked me double uh, BSS of implants. So you have two here and two here and then five up and two here. So that's like two and you have a lot of plates yeah. and lots of screws. Uh, so we also give you a letter so that, you know, I think it was a revision, the genio part, but yeah. still, we will, um, so that you don't have any issues uh, boarding the plane or in some aspect, we're going to give you a fitness to travel certificate as well. Okay, cool. All right. And I wish you a safe journey. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, take good care of yourself. And let us know how you're doing from time to time. Okay. And if there's anything, we'll be more than willing to troubleshoot or more than willing to offer our opinion and suggestions. Okay, I appreciate right. that. Thanks once again. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> um,